Now we're going to learn how you can calculate a net between multiple values coming from different cells. So we need to be able to perform additions and subtractions in a group of values. So we have a revenue and another form of revenue called late fees coming from each location. And each location has a variable cost and a fixed cost. So all the costs will be summed and they will be subtracted from the sum of all the revenues, which is revenues and late fees. So our formula will have four cell references. So let's write it down here in the net. Equals to, let's make a sum of all the revenues. One come from the cell location B2, to which we add the cell location C2. This is the sum of my revenues. From there, I'm gonna subtract the other sum, which is the sum of my costs. So one cost comes from D2 and the other cost comes from E2. So the sum of the two costs are subtracted from the sum of the revenues. Now, if the value of the difference between the two sums is a negative value, it will be a negative value. If it's a positive value, it will be a positive value. So now let me complete this formula and then I will going to autofill the formula. And as you can see, some of the values here are in parentheses. That's one way to show a negative value. There are other formats of negative values as well. So for example, I will going to select these values and I'll show you where you can look for these formats. They're actually located under the number group. If you click on the launch dialog, and here under the number, you can see the different negative formats. The one that is currently being used with us is the parentheses one, but you can always use the negative one with the, the negative sign. You can use a red color one. You can use a red in the parentheses. So there are, there are many different formats that you can use over here. For this very reason, Black Friday is called Black Friday because generally in accounting books, negative is represented with a red color. So Black Friday basically means it is an opportunity for the companies to change their reds into blacks. So this is um, another way that you can change your values from a um, default format, which was black in parentheses, to red in parentheses. Anyway, in the next tutorial, we're going to continue working with some more formulas. Have a great day. Thank you.